right off the phone with my husband. Let's do it again. I'm like, oh, changing levels is really, really difficult. Really difficult. That's why you see me on the camera like I'm always just one level and I'm always I'm just staying with one level. If I, I watch those videos of me on my walks very, very closely, I'm really watching my physical motion and seeing how my skin's doing and how my shoulder's doing and my level changes. And it's very interesting to see how well my body moves when I get warmed up. It's very, very good because talking to you really gets me past the pain. But then afterwards, I really pay for it. After those walks, it's good. It, get, you know, it gets me past the pain. It gets all this mobility in my joints. The adrenaline gets going. The adrenaline gets going and I don't feel the pain. I feel it afterwards when I stop taping and I have... And I come back here. And I put my hips up and over, up and over on this bolster here, right? And I put my legs over this, it's so nice. And then, and after changing, changing into the bathrobe, and then I lay back down. And then, and that's when you see me texting on my phone. That's when I'm tweeting to you on my phone. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this just pulls back. Now I'm flat on the floor now. This seriously, it like decompresses my spine. I guess you guys do these like long boards or whatever to decompress your spine. You can't stay on those forever. You cannot live on those. You can't fall asleep on those. Maybe some of you can. I can't. I can't do that with my head. I cannot. I mean, no. So this is kind of like a decompression, I guess. So having my butt on this bolster right here, turn on its side or whatever, it pulls my hip apart from my rib cage which is down on the floor but what we've noticed is is that during the night what will happen is because this is actually lifted up higher like i actually need my legs up higher like we have to actually lift it up like this for it to work like i can do this during the day or whatever and i lean all over it like during the day like when the internet guy was here i was thrown over it or whatever or i'm on the side of it and things like that i rotate over it but to go to sleep this is like my positioning to go to sleep and what happens is, is during the night, this psoas or whatever, it'll start yanking because of whatever activity or physical therapy. When I do these activities that you see like the things on camera for you, it kind of feels like performing in a way, like the, the dancing and stuff like that. It's good, it like puts the adrenaline over. It's my physical therapy for the day. And it really shoves me over, it makes the muscles work. Um, but then I have to go into recovery. And what happens is, is this psoas or whatever, or the muscles, they'll yank. And what we've noticed is, is that uh, it'll, they'll actually, the legs will, this will yank and pull the legs this way. And I'll find myself like roll down here, like collapse, like into like the laundry basket. It's been awful in these like weird, awful positions. It's been terrible. And I'm just like, and then I'm in these awful cramps or whatever. And we haven't been able to figure that out. I was like, I'm waking up with my neck and these awful things in the poor my pillow, like this great my pillow that I sleep with my head in. This is the my pillow, the roll. That's what I put underneath my neck, which is really, really good. Um, and so I sleep like that, like that's how I sleep or whatever. So what we've done now is we do this. We take a pillow underneath this shoulder and we take, and I didn't do this for the longest time because I didn't want to shape my shoulders. I'm such a dancer. I didn't want my shoulders to memorize going forward for the muscle memory and to shape the shoulders. I didn't want that. And so, but it was, I was throwing myself backwards. It was like, oh, well, you know, like what's more important? Like, and then I was sleeping in a worse position. So now I have, oh, that feels so good. And it does something. Putting, bracing my elbows this way somehow takes the pressure off the lower back, the one that's hanging in the air. It takes some extra pressure. I don't know what it is. I don't know that some physical therapist can tell me. And I'm a dancer. I should know. I know these high level things. And I bet if I was watching someone do it, I could tell them why. But for some reason, like, it's almost like I'm pushing myself up. And it just takes it off this, especially this really bad area behind the right facet or whatever. It takes that pressure off. And then I fall asleep like that. And, what, and then in the morning, I wake up at least at a better position. So anyway, um, that's how I go to bed. That's my favorite enemy. And then Tazzy sleeps right there. Tasmanian sleeps right there. Usually I'm further back. I was trying to get it kind of set up so that you guys could see it for the camera. Usually I'm further forward. And then my husband sleeps over there. 
And so Tazzy sleeps there. And then Lila sometimes confiscates a basket or Tazzy sleeps there and they like pets. And then sometimes Tiberius likes to sleep down there. Daddy built this to get the washer up, this stupid German washer that sounds like an MRI so that I feel tortured. I hate this thing. It takes four hours to do three shirts. It's awful. But we don't have a hole in the house and we had to bring it upstairs so that because I can't do the stairs. I can't do the stairs to get downstairs to do laundry. So it's a lot better than having our laundry taken out. That's really... That's what we had to do in the beginning. Like we had to have it taken out and have someone else do it. And that's a lot of labor on us to like get it down and get it back and get it down and get it back every single week. It's so much labor. And when I couldn't do, oh my gosh, like, and so it's a really big um, thing to have it raised up. Anyway, that's a different story. So anyway, so that is it um, going up and down. I'm like, ooh, this is really yanking now the fact, but also I get to massage and here I'm learning about massaging but boy, I can really tell, remember how I said to start feeling around your body? Like you can see I'm automatically doing it. I'm checking out and seeing like how the psoas is doing and I'm kind of like massaging it in here to like ease whatever's hurting back there because it's hurting back there now. And I'm like, okay, ease it off. I've learned how to do pressure points in the front to ease off what's in the back and things like that. I've learned to calm it down in order to fall asleep because the pain will be so bad. That I would say is like one of the biggest challenges is falling asleep when you're in this much pain. It's one thing to dance because you've got adrenaline killing all the pain. How do you fall asleep? You know, tell me that. How in the world is someone supposed to fall asleep with this much pain? And you have to do the physical therapy or else you never get better, but how do you fall asleep? That's a whole other basket of, of, of things, you know what I mean, and stuff. And so, you know, you just hope that you wear yourself out enough and, and luckily I have you guys and I get to write to you and do research or whatever but that's how you see me on my phone hello mr taz do you want to say hello to everybody he's like what did you do mommy i'm used to it all messy so as you can see though because i'm usually on the ground this is my range of motion so things get really messy hello say hello to everybody yes this is his he's mr marine i always call him the marine because he always does the checking do you see how he's inspecting he is inspecting. I think he's jealous that Mr. Tiberius ran into the dancing video. You inspecting? Oh, you like it. You like it. He loves these blankets. Oh, that's right. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me, Mr. Taz. And then at night, I take my legs and I take this lovely blanket here while well, daddy takes the blanket and then he throws it over my legs and then I have something warm. For the longest time, we couldn't do any kind of blanket over my legs because it was too painful to touch. And then I shouldn't keep talking to you this way. It's just so pain-free. I'm sorry, I'm like, yay, it's so pain-free. It's hard not to talk to you this way, and, but it's rude, I apologize. Remember when the internet guy came and I was like, it's so nice, he let me throw my legs. I, he, this is what I call hanging my legs up when I have it over like this. When I say I hang my legs up for the night, that's what I mean. Because I literally throw it up on a bolster, up like this, and I have my legs up this high. That's what I mean. I hang my legs up for the night. And I even do it like at the dance studio after I'm done with the lesson. I go to the couch and I lay on the side of the couch and I hang my legs up and just pull my hips off of my spine. Hi. Yes, you are, Mr. Handsome. Yes, you are. Yes, yes, you know you're Mr. Handsome. He so loves the pets. Yes, you are. Yeah, 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 he's so Mr. Happy. He's so Mr. Happy. Yes, you are. These are his favorite blankets ever. He just loves these blankets. You are drooling. That means you're really happy. Now, the question is, how are we going to get Mommy up to that camera to turn it off? Because we are both just too comfortable, aren't we? Do you want me to tell them that this is our bed? Not my bed. This is our bed. This is our bedroom. Not Mr. Tiberius's, not Miss Lila's. Yeah, so Daddy has started like, this is where we do dinner. He comes and sits down, and Daddy comes, sits down, and he hasn't been able to touch me because I've been in so much pain or whatever, but the pain's been coming down after that last procedure. So he came over and sat with me. Like, he came over and was like, oh, and he sat, sat with me here. Oh, Taz freaked out. Taz was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is Mommy in my space. This is mommy in my space. It's hysterical, but he also loves going with daddy. It's hysterical. So it's like he has mommy time and daddy time and we're not supposed to. He really hates it when I interrupt daddy time. So that's, it's like having kids, I swear. Oh my goodness. And I'm like, sorry, sorry. Mommy and daddy are the parents. 
Oh, yes, baby bear. Yes, baby bear. You're so handsome. You are. You look so good in these blankets. Yes, you do. Oh, what a handsome kitten. What a handsome kitten. Oh, he's purring for you guys. I don't know if you can hear it. This is what gets me through the day. Okay, so this is the other thing that I do. I'm like, shoot, my pants keep falling down on you. I keep losing weight and I'm not, you know, using, used to wearing anything in the bathrobes. I'm trying to get used to it. Now that I can wear clothing, again, I am not, so this is something I really love to do. Gosh, I'm just showing you everything. But this is the other side of life. This feels so good. Like this, it compresses my stomach muscles. But I'm starting to get into it where I'm losing enough weight where it doesn't get, it like doesn't get to it. So I actually have... You guys are going to think this is so sick and twisted, but I actually have, um, oh gosh, where is it? Is it down there? I actually have like a two cup measuring cup and I sit it underneath here and I sit the two cup measuring cup and I lay on the two cup measuring to compress, to compress the psoas muscle to ease the pain. Like I'm trying to, there it is. There it is. So I take this, there is my rock tape, lovely rock tape. I love rock tape. You should get into it. If you have any kind of muscle pain or fresh pain, look into it and ask your doctor about it, your physical therapist. So I take this lovely two cup, tape, my two cup thing. And now that I have this guy, I just take it and I shove it down. Oh my gosh. See, it's easing it so much. That thing that I was massaging. Oh my heavens above. You guys have no idea how good that feels. And don't try this at home, of course. These are just the things that I do. I am not a doctor. These are the ways I've learned to cope. But um, my physical therapist was like, compression is going to be really good for you. And the way we learned it is my husband was massaging me. And he noticed that the only thing that would like ease off this pain down here is if he squeezed my rib cage. And he actually showed my physical therapist. He went to my physical therapist and he says... You know, I started shaking right in front of her. I started losing it down here. It started really hurting, like, down here in the in the lower area. And he said, watch this. And he brought in his arms, and he just squeezed right here. And I was like, oh, and just all the pain went away. And she's like, okay, compression's going to be really big for you. So I really compress muscles. Like, I really use a lot of compression. I've really used a lot of wraps in my recovery. So anyway, I hope that somewhat helps you. That's what I mean by hanging up my legs at night. And I really want to go back to hanging them up because it hurts to sit upright. Sorry, it really, really does hurt sit to hurt upright. So when you guys see me dance, you guys see me dance on my good moments. And so those are, and see when I lay on my side, I don't ever lay on my side like this. I always, always, always have, um, I always, 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 always have, it hurts to just lay on my side. So when I lay on my side, and maybe it's degenerate, I don't know what it is with injuries, but when I lay on my side, I always have to have something in between my knees, and I always have to have something underneath my back, and I always need something compressing my side. I mean, I need, and so that's why, like, you can see it right there. Can you see that? Do you see how many pillows I have? Let's see how many, let's show you guys how many pillows I have. So I have got... One, two, a bolster there, a bolster. I've got all these pillows that I stacked away for you, all of these pillows. And then I've got all of that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a whole bunch of bolsters and pillows. I love these guys. I love these guys. Have you seen these guys, these things from the side? Oh my goodness, have you seen these side pillows? <gasps> these things are like magic. It, you don't think it's much, but oh, it is so big. If you sit, if you're like laying on the side, if you're on the side and you tuck that in, if you have SI joint pain and you just tuck that into the back, the relief. The, I didn't get it for the longest time because I was like, it's so, you know, it's money, it's money, it's money and stuff. And then you guys started think, donating like all, seriously, I wouldn't have any of this stuff if it weren't for your donations. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I give you so much credit when I say that this is a miracle. Like, you. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're, thank you. So when, um, so like this tucked in or whatever, it makes a big difference. And the other way that you can do it is right here, is you can tuck it in when you're laying on your side, and it actually fills in that side when you're laying on your side. So there's a bunch of different pillows, all weird shaped angles and stuff. Like, this is actually from the car. Um, in my car bed, 
we have these all along the side of the car bed. We go in the side of the car or whatever, and we put them along the side to protect me from bumping against the side because it hurts so much when I bump against the rough edges. Just things like that. So um, we tried having me lay along the side, and I just slid off faster. My legs just went whew, even faster. So anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's the other side of my life. I hope that helps um, today. I hope my activity is teaching you a little bit about dance. I'd like to actually teach you teach you some moves um, uh, for the footwork. I'd like to teach you that. You guys have been asking some questions on how I did the footwork thing. So I'd like to actually show you that. So hopefully I can do that for you today, but I'm going to have to lay down for a while and rest in order to do that. So that is my get ready for me with me for bed. And please remember, I'll end with this, like please remember that like, like please remember that this is what I see like at night. Oh, oh, and not only that, but like, like I get to see like here, I wonder if I can show you like, oh no, I can't show you because I have pictures of my friends up there. Ha 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 ha. I can't show you that like all my friends are on the wall. Ha 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 So, but I have a big poster of Wonder Woman so on the wall. So, and it's just like, I have all of my friends on the wall, so I can't do that. Um, so, uh, but anyway, so there's a, uh, there's a big thing of Wonder Woman my husband got me. So this big poster of Wonder Woman. So I have this big thing of Wonder Woman with her. Her things are f f uh, the big uh, like wings out or whatever. It's really, really fantastic. Um, so like when I'm laying down, I did that on purpose. Like when I look up and everything, I just see all these, you know, beautiful things and things that I got. And, you know, it just, it really helps. It just helps when I see stuff like that, like stuff like from before, you know, the things that, that give you joy, uh, when you go to, that, that it's way, way better. It doesn't feel at all like it, just, plus that ceiling goes pretty freaking high too. Ha ha ha. So that, that really helps. So, um, uh, yeah, so it's, I've got a, I've got it, I've got it. Um, really good. And that's the other thing. Here's the one thing over here. There's one thing that I didn't even know what was coming, but remember how I said that like all of our liberal friends, I don't, I'm trying to think we had one conservative friend. One, when we left California, I think we had one conservative friend that I can think of. I can only think of one, maybe another one, maybe, I think they were independent. Um, but they all said to go to, uh, the Reagan library right? Um, if there, if there were other conservatives, they didn't tell us. I mean, not everyone talked politics really, but we, they all said to go to the Reagan library on our way out. And on our way out, we got this. And I had no idea what was coming, you know, years and years ago, I had no idea what was coming with politics. And this little guy says, um, there is no limit to what a man can do if, uh, which we call it, or where he can go if he doesn't mind who gets the credit. Isn't that interesting? He had that on his desk when he was, let me show you that. He had that on his desk as a president. And I didn't know anything about his presidency. I was freaking too young. I didn't know anything. And what I learned there was about communism. Um, and I learned about presidency, but I learned he had this on his desk. And what's interesting to me is that when we left, when we go to interesting places, when we go to landmarks, like that's a lot of things that I have. Like, let me see if I have something here. I try to have things that remind me of adventures of places that I go. Um, um, I'm trying to see if there's anything to say. Okay, so for example, here. Um, all right. Let's see here. Where is it? Yoo-hoo. No. I don't know where it went. It might be on the other guy. I think I can't reach it. It's over on the other, it's on the other desk and I'm not, I'm not that flexible yet. But like this one, I got, um, I got this at a store on my way to pick up my husband from his job interview, um, on getting this job. Like he was, he had just gotten this job to bring us here. And I got this in store. It's the only thing I went into the store. And I was just like, I felt like I was supposed to get something there. I walked in and I saw it and I walked out and that was it. That was it. I walked in and I walked out and that was it. And this was it. And that was it. And I remember where it was and I went to go get him or whatever. And he got the good news and that was it. So this is my memory of that. So I have like little things. I have other things. I'm trying to think of what I can ruin up there. 
Okay, so like that bow, like this bow was a really big thing. I was mobile, I was, um, this is when we went to, like uh, when we visited the South once for one of his work trips. Um, and this was a, like a vintage bow. And I remember when I got it, um, look at it, it says, oh gosh, it's made in the USA. I didn't know that. L. Erickson. All right. All I know is that when I got it, isn't it beautiful? I just think it's, sorry, sorry, my hand's starting to shake because um, I'm tired. But like this is, uh, he had to go down and, and I was still mobile enough to actually go with him. He couldn't leave me. We, um, but after a while, his work had to cover nurses for me um, so he could leave um, for 24-hour care for a while. Um, but in the early days, I could actually follow him and stay with him where he went. And so he had to go down south. And so I was able to go to a store. And I remember the lady said, she was like, you have the most, she says, you have the best taste of anyone who's ever come into the store. And that lady had, she, I really, really, I remember her name and everything. That lady, I'll never forget it. They had, that store had like everyone dressed to the nines. Like it was this, I mean, everyone, what was it? I forget the name of it. It was one of those really, really high end, whatever. So it was, uh, I forget what it was. Um, whatever it was, everyone was dressed just impeccably, right? Just dressed. Da, 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 da. And she was like, you, and I, I couldn't that day. Like we were already like tanking, right? Like we had just moved here and it was already, my health was just starting to go. We were just starting. We were like realizing that mama wasn't going to be able to work anywhere. I was losing my ability to write. Like it was all like, it was all downhill. Right. And so this is like one of the last things I ever got, right? And um, she said that I had the best taste she'd ever seen. And it was a really big memory. I didn't even realize this was made in the US USA. And she wanted to know like what else that I saw. And so I got this and like one other thing. Oh, the thing in my bridal. The thing in my bridal video that you saw. That hair piece. And she's just like, you actually stand there and you look and you pay attention. And she went through all these things about the way that I'd shopped. Now, I've been shopping for a long time, you guys. I shopped at a lot of places, a lot of things. You know, I've had some really, really nice stuff that I have sell off and everything like that. But some things I like to keep. Does that make sense? Like, it's just a hair bow. It's just these little things. But I like to keep these things that keep a memory in my head, that keep that special with me to rem remind you of who you were. Does that make sense? To remind you of, of who you were. And now it fits in like with all the stuff with the things that I get at, at, um, at, uh, thrift stores. Wow. I'm really losing my ability. I really should go. So anyway, but surround your stuff with the things that remind you of who you were and who you are so that you don't forget that person. And you don't think like, I don't think of myself. Um, remember how I said, uh, it's almost depressing now that I can move cause I'm realizing how, uh, disabled I am if that makes sense like all my limitations because I didn't think of myself that way and I can see now the work that I put into that I really 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 worked hard at not forgetting who I was like not forgetting what I loved not forgetting and trying not to see myself as what as what I had become you know and I'm starting to come to terms with that right as I'm starting to recover from it if that makes sense I'm like oh boy um, it, it would have been a lot harder to get better if I had ever thought that, you know, oh, if I'd ever come to terms with, you know, there are a few points where I figured out that like I couldn't lift my head, that I was, you know, that I got really down. But if I had defined myself as that, if I had truly redefined myself just as that and had resigned myself to that's who I was, you know, from now on. And I think that was the turnaround point was that I was like, anyway, so this is my bed. I'm being tired, so I'm just telling you everything. Ha <laughs> ha All right. I love you guys so much. But that's the thing. There's no limit to what a man can do or where he go. If he doesn't mind, who gets the credit. I find it interesting that that's what struck me as we were leaving California, that that one quote struck me as we were leaving that place. And that's what I picked up. And now, and now this is my life. Like, I'm just some random blogger, like some random writer on Twitter and I'm learning, aren't we all just like, isn't that social media? Like everyone has handles. No one says who they are, but they're all fighting for rights. They're all fighting for the right to have their land back. They're all fighting for freedom. 
everyone's fighting for the right to be free. They really, really do. Everyone's fighting. That's what they want. They want people to be free and they may not have all the information. Like I know, I know it was a shock for me when I found out about honor killings in the UK. That was a huge shock for me to find out about that. Um, and, and so if you don't know about that, you know, and you're told that the rest of the world is way more progressive than you, how are you supposed to know? We're all trying to, most of us are fighting for freedom. Very few actually know what it is and, and are doing it differently. So, um, and those are the ones we fight or whatever. So I, I think that it's interesting that there are so many people online, um, and the cohesive thing of all of us together are actually doing what this guy had on his desk, like your president had that on his desk. And that's what I picked up. I ended up joining a community like that. Isn't that interesting? I ended up joining a community like that. And I didn't even realize that. It was like when we were cleaning it out and I already had Book of Catherine going that I found it. And I was like, I need to put that on the front of my shelf. I need to put that on the front of my shelf to remind me. And now it's funny that I never caught that it said or where he can go if he doesn't mind who gets the credit. And I'm thinking about the Freedom Trail, like, or where he can go. Like, look at where I'm going. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, I better, I better lay down. See, this is what happened. I get excited talking to you, and then I go too far, and then I got to go hang up my legs. And that's okay, because it's good for my body. It's good for my body to, it's good for my body to, the only problem is, is that then it can, it's really hard to turn off the camera. Love you guys. I'm so sorry if I talk too long. I apologize. Oh, God. Turn off the camera. I just love talking to you. You're the best. Shoot. Here, you come to me. How's that? You come to me. Hello. How are you today? I hope you're having a great day. And you have a wonderful day. And I hope these tips helped. Have fun with your equipment. All right. Bye.